Hey guys, welcome back. In the first video, we created our Cake PHP <coughs> installation and we set up our login, which works completely right now. So now we just need a way for the user to register. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is add a uh, register link up at the top here. All right, so we're going to go back to the layout. So this is going to be in uh, template, layout, and then default CTP. All right, and let's just copy this logout link and paste that. This is going to say register, and it's going to be the user's controller, and the action is going to be register. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, create that function in the user's controller. And before we add to that, let's create the template. So under template users, we'll create a new file, save it as register.ctp. And this is going to be really similar to the login form, so I'm actually going to uh, copy that. All right, and then let's change the title. We'll say, uh, please register. Create. Now we're going to pass in the user variable here. Sorry about that, guys. Um, anyway, so we're going to change this. Actually, we'll leave that. We'll copy it. And let's change this to name. And you could have used any fields you want. I know we, are, we just created email, password, name, but you could have added first name, last name, age, whatever you'd like. I just wanted to keep it short. All right, so name, email, uh, password, and that's it really. So let's change the text to register. And then that should be it. So let's save that. And it should now render for us. If we go to users, register. Um, oh, you know what? It's not going to let us go there because it's blocking it. All right, so we need to allow access for guests. So to do that, we need to go to the user controller, and <clears throat> we're going to create a function called before filter. All right, so we'll say public function before filter. And we want to pass in here cake event slash event. Okay, just so it knows the correct namespace. Um, and then we're going to say this this auth allow. And then what you can do in here is create an array of pages that you want to allow. Okay, so register. All right, if you had like an about page or uh, terms and conditions or something like that, and you want to allow that without them having to log in, you could do that here. All right, so let's save that and let's reload. Uh, let's see, before filter should be compatible. This is controller line 12. Oh, do we not? All right, so we need to, um, at the top of user controller, we're going to say use, uh, use cake slash event slash event. Let's see if that works. No, it didn't. Should be compatible with cake event event. And then I think if we go down and get rid of this, since we're using it up there, that should do it. So we'll save that and let's 
reload and click register. Okay, so it's letting us to register. Um, undefined variable user, that's fine because we didn't define it yet. Um, and we still shouldn't be able to go any, okay, good. All right, so it's working how it's supposed to. So we can see, we can see the register form um, and now we need to add to this register function. All right, so we're gonna say user is gonna equal this, uh, this user's new entity. All right, and that itself should get rid of that error. Or not. Undefined variable user, register CTP. User. Oh, we didn't set it yet, that's why. All right, so uh, let's keep going. So we're gonna say if this is a post, so if this request, uh, yeah, this request is, and then we'll pass in post. Okay, so basically if the form is submitted, then we're gonna then set user uh, to this. This user's patch entity. Okay, and then we'll pass in there the user itself and then the data, which is this request data. All right, and then we're going to save, but we're going to put it in an if statement. So we're going to say uh, if this users save, not Dave, but save. Uh, and it will pass in user. Okay, so if it works out, if it saves, then we're going to uh, send a flash message. Success. Okay, and we'll say you are registered and can log in. All right, and then we just need to redirect. We'll just grab that. Okay, except we want to redirect to in action because we're still going to be in the log the user's controller. So we want to go to the login action. That way, when we log out, it'll take us right back to the login form. All right, and then we just want to add on an else. Okay, so for some reason they can't register. Then we're going to set a flash message. And this is going to be an error. And we'll just say you are not registered. All right. So the last thing we need to do is we need to set the user so we don't get that error anymore. Uh, so that's going to go right here. We're going to say this set and in here we're going to say compact user all right and we also need to serialize it so we're going to say this set uh, and then we want to say underscore serialize and then pass in user and that's it. So we'll save that. Let's reload register. Okay, the error's gone. Um, let's try and register. Okay, so we'll say John Doe. Email, we'll say jdoe at gmail. Password, register. Okay, you are now registered and can log in. So let's try it. We'll say jdoe at gmail and password log in and there we go we're in and if we go to list users you'll see John Doe is there alright so that works log out that works ok 
Okay, now the last thing we want to do is we want to hide the logout link when we're not logged in, and we want to hide the register link when we are logged in. So what we'll do is go to App Controller, which runs uh, within every controller because every controller extends it, and we want to be in this before render function because this is going to run before anything renders. Okay, so let's say uh, login check, and what we'll do is say if this request uh, this request session read, and then we want to pass in auth dot user. Okay, so that's in cake PHP. That's one way that we can check to see if the user is logged in. All right, so if they are logged in, then let's go ahead and set a variable or value that we can access from all views. Okay, because it's in the app controller, and let's call it logged in, and we'll set this to true, and then we want to say else. Then we want to set that to false. Okay, so that way we have this value that we can check from within the views. So now we'll go back to the default layout view. And this is the this is the log out link. So right here, let's say I'm gonna use the PHP uh, shorthand if. So we'll say if logged in. And then right here, we're going to do an else. And then we'll do PHP end if. Okay, just a different way we can do an if statement. Save that. Okay, so we're not logged in, so now we see the register. If we do log in, Now the register is gone and we just see log out. All right, so that gives us uh, a complete login and registration system in Cake PHP. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and uh, I will see you in the next one. And be sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, whatever you can do. Thanks.